Orion, top of the table, uh, two wins, two home wins in a row as well. Fought hard today, but you were you were forced to fought hard, fight hard today as well, weren't you? Yeah, 100%. You know, you, you're not just given wins in this competition, and we had to earn our, and do some hard graft today, I thought. Their two young lads batted really, really nicely in that first session, and we couldn't get the breakthroughs. I think at times, we, I, I reckon, we lost our way a little bit with too, probably too much short pitch bowling. But again, blokes are trying things, and they're trying to, you know, get over that whole thing that you know, getting results here at Riverside is hard work. And mate, two wins from two, yeah, doesn't seem so hard. Did the, do you think the, the pitch lost a bit of its pace today as well or not? Well, it could be, but again, this is a day three wicket where it probably should be at its best for batting. So, um, look, I think the, it doesn't help when we've had moisture on the outfield so the ball gets softer. Um, but, mate, in the end of the day, we're getting results here, so I think it's a great wicket. It's interesting, isn't it? You, there was always a feeling once that partnership from Matt Lamb and Lewis Rees was broken, you know, the cards might fall, which is what happened. But you, I suppose you've got to feel for Matt Lamb on 99 out <laughs> LBW. I mean, he'll, he'll be uh, <laughs> away with his thoughts after that one, won't he? Yeah, of course. You know, it's one of those things in cricket everyone hates to see someone out for 99 and, and it's amazing how many times it happens it's um you know that it's just one run yet it seems to be such a big deal for a batter but um look i, I thought he batted well look reese batted both in both innings really really nicely so look rain is he knows what he's doing and you know obviously pinned him on the, on the stumps and um once there was an end open we felt their their tail end could go very quickly if we get it right but Again, that's the difference, I think, with us and, and a lot of the teams so far. We've got some fast bowlers who are genuinely aggressive and, you know, pots and casts. And tail enders don't really like facing them. So I thought pots at the end was fantastic. Yeah, I think that's his seventh fifer. But um, he took eight in the match as well. Five today, five for 65. An excellent performance. 100%. You know, so, you know, th these guys are... They want to play for England, but most importantly, they want to play for Durham. And, you know, Cass and Potts, these sort of guys, they need to put in performances for us. And, you know, they're doing everything they can to put their hand up. And I'm sure the England selectors, you know, I'm getting a text from the white ball coach every now and again, seeing how they're going. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we lose them at some point this year. But while they're here, we've got to make the most of them. Yeah, you have a week off now, top of the, the table. It'll change, no doubt, by the time you uh, come to play. Yorkshire here in a couple of weeks time but sadly uh, the news not good today about Matt Kuhneman hurt his back last week at Cardiff and is having to return to Australia. Yeah that's a real shame for us because you know obviously he's been such a big part of this team he fitted in so nicely he's one of the real lads and you know the guys are going to really miss him so you know that's that's disappointing but again you know we know that in a long season of county cricket you're going to have injuries you're hoping to limit those and Let's be honest, generally you think they're going to be to your fast bowlers, but, you know, we're going to, we'll take a breath and, you know, Marcus North and I have already been sitting down and, and, and at length working out who will be our, our replacement. The boys will enjoy some time off. Um, we'll come back next week. We're actually going to do white ball practice. We're going to get into our white ball season uh, to change it up a little bit. Um, and then we'll prepare for what I think is going to be an unbelievable game because, in all honesty, I think Yorkshire are a Division One team. They could have Joe Root, Johnny Bairstow, these sort of guys. And we want to find out if we're good enough to play in that first division. Um, and we have to beat teams like Yorkshire. So I think it's going to be a, the ultimate challenge and we're going to be ready for it.